You know who it is. Your boy JD and Fatty. Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, JD and Fatty. Look at Tyler, I think he can do it better. What up guys, what's going on? It's JD and Fatty, you know who it is. Back another install video. You wanna guess what it is? Most out of Supra. And it definitely an STI. We're gonna be working on something crappier. <laughs> yeah, <absolutely. laughs> we're gonna work on something less important. So we're gonna do another install video. We're gonna do a shifter upgrade. We're gonna teach you guys how to take off the trim, um, actually install it on the car. So if you guys wanna know how to do it, this is how you guys do it. Super. Look at this thing. <laughs> Look at that. CIE shifting technology. Look how loud that thing is. Dang, that shaft though. So we're gonna be putting this in here. So here's a shifter that he already has. Hybrid. So we got my helper right here. Look at this guy. I'm the helper, you know. Whatever. He's gonna he's gonna show us how to do it. So pretty much, you gotta take off this trim first, and then there should be uh, two bolts underneath. So you just gotta unclip the harness underneath, and there's right two here. bolts. Right gonna be two bolts right here for the top plate. Take that off. Make sure you unplug the uh, harnesses for the controls, and then straight from straight forward from there. All you're gonna really need is a trim tool remover, and then the little screwdriver. Dang! It's with, with the greatest of ease. Not really, first time is always a pain. <laughs> right here, dude, like you literally feel like you're about to break it in half. You just gotta poke in those tiny spots. Dang! So, here's the screws. So we got one right here. We got another one right there. I like how you tied your shift food. Yeah, cause it's your, you know, racing. I mean, not getting the adapter. Dang. It won't really hold up to the knob, so I got a little ha hair band and uh, you know, being a bougie. Get that, that bougie band. You got a racing shift knob, but he doesn't have a... A jacked up racing shift knob. <laughs> Real note, never over tying your shifter extensions. All right. And then just pop the ends off right here. Slide it on in. Boom. Right here, just like that pretty much. Like that. But of course, you know, take your shift knob off. And then go ahead and disconnect the harnesses. If you can get a grip on it. Come on, use those fingernails. You got no nails. Oh! I thought the harness is always the hardest thing to take off. And then leave your finger numbing for like hours. Honestly. There you go. There's that. So, as you already can see, he already has a shifter installed. <laughs> hybrid it's actually not that long it looks longer than it is but yeah inside is super deep look at that all right all right next pop these little side ones you literally just pop off and we can don't break clips but just force them off literally just like that look at that same with the other side everything is held on my clips like that and it's time for the clamp control my tool here on the side. Look at that. Everything's all pop off. Don't drop it, of course, because you got harnesses behind there, too. Behind it, just make sure you guys don't hit the uh, don't drop the uh, <laughs> tool. Don't, don't drop your tool, you might need that. Make sure you guys don't hit the shifter, you don't want that to be scratched up. There we go. So, so you got right here. Two harnesses behind her. If you can grip the uh, connector. Just pinch it. Oh, really? Ah. Run number one, have nails. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. There we go. With the greatest of ease with and the this long is nails. Be, next one's a little bit easier. I just want the tops. I was on top. Oh! I was on top. Oh! 
that. <laughs> How'd you get the shifter? There you go. I that? just told you guys. <laughs> Watch out for the shift there. So it's gonna be these two screws right here. So those two screws. One, two, to remove this whole piece right here. So I can figure what I do with the Phillips. Right here. All right. And the okay. next up, the next center console is gonna be two bolts, or also fill head bolts down here. All right, next step. So one last thing, taking the bottom plate off right here. So it's kind of tricky actually. Don't be too hard on it, but you gotta be, have better luck with a Phillip, or a flathead, excuse me. Don't be hard on it, be gentle. And there's gonna be a little indent lip on this. Oh my God, I'm gonna spill right here. There should be a little indent somewhere so you can fit a, it's on the bottom. It's like a uh, pry it. tool? You yeah. Can... All right, so there's a, once you pull the mat out, there's like a little indention down here where you can get a pry tool and just pull it out. So this piece, it just pops out. Yeah. Cigarette lighter. And you see it right here? Yeah, and there you go. So then you got a couple of harnesses. All right, one more time. So I got a better angle. There we go. And this Whew. one should be... So let me see this the top one. one. Maybe? No? Or right here? On the bottom? There you go. Easy enough. Just like that. Lays out. Boom. And then one last bolt. Or from its Phillips head. See right here up top. There's that bolt right there. And that's pretty much the... Yeah. Now right lifts up. And then make sure you throw it at fourth so you can get a better angle to get this out. Bam. There you go. Alright, so now the last piece is we're gonna remove this whole center console piece out. The harness for the USB connector in here, and also for the one back here, I'll show you because the harness is for the uh, keyless remote. The sensor's back here, so you gotta make sure you unplug that also. You should be able to just, let me just close this. I'm gonna drop on my change. Look at that. Always look forward to it. So oh, the yeah. uh, the OEM, it's pretty much the same setup. Uh, looks like there's just four bolts. Yeah, Allen bolts. Yeah, uh, hybrid and acuity, same, same exact assembly as OEM, pretty much same hookup. So, gonna remove this. So it's pretty much the same application if you're having an OEM shifter. Same process. Let's get that removed. So, so we're redoing these two bolts right here to take this little plate off, get more room. Okay. And then we're gonna be taking off the little side clips right here for the harness to hold on to. It should be just this one's holding on to. Just pop this one out. It's gonna be the same location as OEM practically. And then we're gonna be doing taking the cables out right here. Uh, this might give me a second because the last time I was being bitched to me. <laughs> Are you recording? I am. Nice. <laughs> this is still recording. Nice. So yeah, doing the cables right here. I highly, highly, highly recommend for getting the cables out is getting a really, really thin flathead or a, screw, or a screwdriver, like a, like a novelty uh, hobby one, like really uh, small screws, since that would give you the best uh, clearance for it, so you easily get in there, because I was using a pretty decent sized one, and I was probably here for as long as I should have been, so. There you guys yeah. go. Remember, get a small, is that flathead? Flathead, recommended, but fills will work also. You just really need something that clear going underneath the here, here. Getting underneath here at an angle because the clips will be behind here. So, just, there's a clip inside here. Let me see if I can try to focus in. That you have to get a small screwdriver inside to remove that clip. So, we'll show you guys how to do it. Hopefully, it won't take you forever like Tyler did on his first try. Live and learn, right? So, let's go and get that shifter cable removed. <laughs> So there's the screwdriver. You want to rotate a little bit, and then be pitching this forward. Focus. So it'll pop out. So you're pretty much just moving that clip, so that way you can take it out of the, and be the bracket. Yeah, be careful not to pull it all the way because you also have two little pins you got to take out over here on the side. So, so essentially, we're just pulling that upwards. Yeah. So rotate it kind of clockwise a little bit, so you can get the, where the clip is right here, and then just push it towards you and it'll pop up 
So once that's loosened up, you crunch out. So let me get these kind of few clips on the side here. So we just gotta pull that out. out. And then we wanna come to the left side over here. This little retainer clip. So there's another clip on the other side. Let's see if we can see it. Be careful getting it out and do not lose it. So there's the retainer clip. No, look at that. Do not lose this. Do not lose that. You might need it. You will. You will need it. <laughs> you gotta take off the, the cables first. Yeah. This one and also I gotta do the one more with retainer clip down here also. So there's another retainer clip right here in the bottom. You guys can see it. Is it, is it this right here? Huh? Yeah. So no not right here. Oh. It's gonna be right in the middle for the cable. So right in the middle, let's see if I can find it. And it's gonna it's a little uh I guess it's gonna be a little cu uh, cup with a clip that like this. Yeah, you can see, see my see hand. If I can go this way. Yeah. See ya. How so, big is it? How big is it? So, <laughs> so it's gonna <laughs> a little cup pretty much for the uh, for the cable in the middle retaining clip, which is right here. There you go. It's gonna be on there like this pretty much. So okay. just pinch it outwards to release it. All right. Now we just gotta remove the four bolts and we should be able to pull this shifter out. So there it is, all the bolts are off. Shifter cables are off. So we just gotta pull it right out. No! Yep. Look at this guy. The holy of the grail of the grail of the holy. Hey, hey. So here's a comparison. As you guys can see, it's a lot longer than this one right here. As terms of height, as terms of weight, this is heavier. This is a lot lighter. But yeah, there you guys go. Look at that. All right, so with everything off for the CAE shifter, you have to cut this cable piece off right here to mount on the new adapter that's hooked onto the uh, CAE shifter. And per the instruction, you have to set it at 12 millimeters away. From the cable right here, so starting- From that cable or this cable? From the end right here. So the we're sawing off the uh, ends right here. So it's going to be 12 mils for both of them. It's going to be 12, mi 12 mils from the starting right here. So 12 mils this way. So you have to cut those two off so that way you can put on the adapter to fit the uh, CAE shifter on there. All right, so pretty much is on. Just got to tighten down the bolts right here. And then once it's on the cable, we just put back the shifter and then mount these bad boys on and then pretty much reverse order and then everything should be all done. So there it is. I haven't just those yet. How does it feel? How about you said? So I got just fifth and six. All right, so he decided to just put on the, uh, the shifter trim. But that's how it looks. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, install. Hope you guys learned something. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you guys think about the shifter. Until then, peace.